Hi folks, Jim Kim here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more TDC2. Today we've got a course by Hoot Bleat and this is the love course at St. Beats. I'm going to go off the back tees, which is the black coming in at 7,438 yards. Now let's get cracking. So a few weeks back I played the high course at St. Beats and if it's anything like that it's going to be a cracking course. I think this actually was his original course because this is ported over from TDC1. And looking at his forum post, it was actually the winner of the Invicta Design Contest in 2017. So, let's have a little look around here. As you see, Highland theme, Lynx course, set on the coast, lovely big beach area there. Got a lighthouse, Ooh, two lighthouses. I do like that one over there though. I like the way he's got that coming right out. Very nice. Don't know what that black thing is though. Very nice. Okay, an 8 mile an hour wind coming in from about 2 o'clock. It's a bit of pond right in the middle of the fairway. Oh, quite quack. Deep water. So I'm going to aim kind of to the left edge of this. And with my usual kind of draw, and that wind should bring it around to the fairway for me. Or should I go to the right? Tell you what, I'm going to go to the right. Should be okay. That's not too bad. 287 yard drive. 114. Ooh. 114. 25 up. It's going to be playing about 120. I reckon. No, 120 something. Let's just take a little bit off of this. Don't know why my head just went blank that, trying to do that. <laughs> but hey, there we go. The distance was spot on. <laughs> Didn't even look at the speed of the greens there, I should have done. Just smash it in there, go for the birdie. Okay, hole two, 643 yards, par five. Again, coming down this sort of beach front here. Oh, you've got a little, couple of little beach huts over there. Some little patio sets outside. Sit and eat your ice cream and drink your beer. Okay, looks like we're probably going to be aiming at that first section because it's six over 600 yards. So we're not going to reach the green two. A lot of little pot bunkers in this second section of the fairway. Looks like we're going to hit the top of this crest here. Oh, look at that little beach hut. Oh, I wouldn't like to sit in that one. That's too close to that bin. Let's sit in that one over there. <laughs> yep, just aim right at the top of that crest. Should hit the top and kind of roll down, I think. Come on. Bounce down there for me. There we go. All the way down. Come on, get that little flat spot down there for me. 326 yards. That's not a bad drive. Over the bridge, up the fairway. Okay, just going to smash a three wood up that. As I said, I'm going to reach the green in two. Oh, I pushed that. Stay away from them bunkers. Oh, looks like it's going to kick left for me though. That's okay. Oh, that looks like it's going to leave us 60, 70 there, I think. Okay, 64, it's playing about 66. Well, if I took enough off it, come on, roll up towards the hole. That sets us up lovely for another birdie. Yeah, I still didn't look at the speed of the greens, I need to do it on the next hole. We've got a lot. It's not too bad when you've got them little short putts. You just smash them in anyway. Okay, great view off the tee here. Huge elevation. Down over the little bridge. Cross onto the fairway. The fairway splits. Do like that other little bridge he's got up there on the left. Going across that big high rock. 
up towards the lighthouse. Oh, look at this. Oh, get that wind with you. Oh, that would be tempting. But I'm going to go with it. Three wood should be okay, I reckon. Go with the three wood. Oh, expecting a draw again. Let me just, oh, that's going to be that's going to be close to this edge. Stay in the first cut. That's okay. As I said before, I always play for the draw, and if I don't get it, if I hit a nice sort of straight shot, then sometimes lands me in the crap. Okay, 143, it's playing about 154. Let's go up to 155 and drop it down just a touch. Right there, that's that little bit of draw that. That's what I was expecting on that first hole, on that first shot. That's not bad though. Distance is spot on. Oh, it's going to be a tough putt this looks like. Now we need to check out the speed of the greens. Okay, it's 182, so it's pretty fast. I can't go too far past here because there's a slope behind. Three inches up. I'm going to turn quite a bit left to right because there's a little sort of slope I'm on here. Oh, that was close. That's going to leave us with a part. That's because of that. I aimed for the draw in that first shot and I didn't get it. You, you can't moan because it was a good strike. And to me, the draw is... Oh, it's, I have to play for the draw because I get it more often than I don't. So, Okay, hole four, 376 yards, par four. Oh, this could be tough. Again, this wind's coming in at 11, uh, from 11. The wind's coming in at 11 miles an hour from the right. I'm actually going to aim. It's a tough little hole, this. You either go for there, or you play really short over here. Oof. Well, I'm going to play down towards this bunker. And there's that draw, uh, that wind, that might be too much. Oh, that's heading towards our bunker. Oh, it's in the heavy rough. Damn. Okay. 86 to 93. It's not too bad. 74. It's playing about 77. So let's just drop that down just a little touch. Now that should run towards the hole. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's keep running. Come on, stop. Wow. That's even even now at the heavy rough. I only dropped out a little tiny bit, bit and it still went 80 yards. And that's why. It's uphill. This doesn't look like it's going to turn hardly at all. Oh, it might be too hard. That was on the edge there. Bit harder and I think that would have just shot over the hole. Okay, hole five, 162 yards, par three. Okay, pin is on the sort of backish leftish in a sort of little bowl at the front there. Oh, 11 mile an hour wind with us. Wow. Okay, 165. So that's plenty about 152. I'm going to go down to 142. A little bit to the right. Getting that slow backswing again now. Oh, oh, just, just. Good distance though. That's yeah, a good distance. Good shot downhill with that wind. <coughs> Excuse me. Sets us up for another birdie. Okay, hole six, 498 yards, par four. Ooh, this looks... Fairway looks like it splits up a few times here. Probably aiming over that other section, just across the bridge, I reckon. 
and it splits up again this longer bridge all the way over towards the green oh look at that wind See, this could be pretty tough with my draw I don't know whether I aim towards the tree or not come on wind keep it straight oh the wind's pushing it towards the tree kick left for me kick 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 oh ho, 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 ho. just got away with that I think that was lucky some tight little areas there. K168, playing about 171. We'll leave it on the 168. We'll aim it a little bit to the left, even though I tend to draw it. Oh, pushed it. No, I pushed it. Oh, come on. I can't believe I pushed it. <laughs> okay, nice little fade there. Nine yards. Oh, this is going to be tough. Little flop. Oh, come on. Hit the slope. Come back. Oh, yes. Just. Any harder than that would have been up in that top hill. That top slope. That sets us up for the par. Can't believe I hit a fade there. Just say slice. I don't usually do it, so it was a mistake, so it's a slice, not a fade. Okay, 07, 169 yards, par 3. A quite straightforward par 3, pins right in the center of the green. 175, it's played about 180. Oh, the wind's pushing it a bit more than I thought. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it rolled on a little bit as well. Okay, again, it shouldn't turn hardly. I'm just going to aim to the left edge of the cup here. Oh, it's turned. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. just caught the lip. Well, that was going to turn a little bit more there towards the end. Oh, eight, 528 yards, puff, four, puff. Ooh, 528 yards par four. That's quite a big par four. Now, if you see the fairway that turns sharply to the right, I think that's probably going to be our landing area. And then downhill towards the green. 12 mile an hour wind coming in from the left, at uh, the right. I think I'm going to see now. I keep saying left or right and it's the wrong way. Go senile in my old age. Oh, get up there. Okay, that should hit that little top. Roll down. Oh, don't go on the upslope. Stay on the flat for me. <clears throat> 320 yard drive. That gives us 211. It's probably about 201. But then we've got that wind to contend with. And that pin's in a tough, tough, tough spot. Oh, nice strike. That's a tough landing area, though. Oh, come on. Kick over to the right for me. Down in that little area. Oh, it's going to go up in that hill. It's going to stay up here. This might be a tough putt. Oh, one foot down. Hey, I want to just aim it sort of to where the marker is and let the slope take it. Oh, I moved it. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, no. Yeah, distance wasn't too bad. I mean, it, there wasn't a lot of room for it to run out. I mean, I could have put a bit more pace on that and I should have done. Oh, look at the ruins over there. Oh, look lovely. So this looks like it's the, the lowest area of the course, really down low, dead flat. This is hole 9, 372 yards, nice sort of sand work. Kind of looks if the, the tide comes in, this would get covered. <laughs> oh, that's a 
very small landing area there. But we could probably reach this green. Be all right. We're talking about 300 yards with that wind, but there's sort of nowhere to go. You're either in that sand or you're going over the back of the green and in that sand. So it's well plain short over here, I reckon. Yeah, I'm just going to aim it up here. Down in this little hollow. Yeah, if I went with three wood there, I think I probably might have ended up in them bunkers. So five wood is the right choice, especially with that wind. That leaves us on a nice little fly area. 116, one foot down. Only thing is, you've got that wind. A lot of wind coming in from the right. That slow back swing again. Distance spot on though. I think I'm pausing a little bit at the top. Don't mind if it's a slow backswing though. When you get the, get the downswings, that's the ones that put you all over the place. Okay, hole 10, 475 yards, par 4. Okay, there's your aiming um, peg right in the middle of the fairway of that. Because we're a little crest, kind of downhill, then back up again towards green. 10 mile an hour wind with us, so that should be okay. A little bit of draw, depends how this fairway kicks. Oh, please kick left. That was straight, I think I probably would have ended up in that bunker. Oh, great view of the ruins, that. Okay, 160 yards. We'll stick with the 155, the 8 iron. I've, I've aimed just a little bit left of the pin here because I should get that little bit of draw. But that wind's quite strong. That's a little bit of draw. Wind should pull it around towards the hole. Ooh, could have took a bit off that though. So I was kind of playing the draw and the wind there. Turned out not too bad, just distance was a little bit off. Now if I didn't get that little bit of draw on that shot though, I would have been right over the other side of the green. Okay, 12 foot, 3 inches down. This looks like it could turn quite a bit here. Not that much though. <laughs> wow. Take your time with these putts, Jim. Come on. Can't move, do not too bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, hole 11, 377 yards uphill here towards the ruins. He's done a cracking job on them ruins though. Really has. Look fantastic. Very, very natural looking. Okay, 10 mile an hour wind coming in from the left. The only thing is this is uphill, so it's kind of hard to gauge distance. Up hills. Oh, nice strike. Nice strike. Kick to the left for me. Don't go down the other side. Stay on the flat. That should be okay. We'll have a look at these on the next hole. Okay, 103, playing 104. Let's just take a little touch off. Beautiful. Took a little bit too much off though, but that should be okay. <gasps> oh, one of the things I've been doing the last few rounds, I've, they look like little gimmies, but I'm not taking my time on them. I'm just boom, boom, hitting them and I shouldn't. I should be taking my time on every putt. That was a silly, silly, silly mistake. Okay, let's have a look at these. It's like, I mean, you know me guys, I've said it many a times in the videos. I, I, now and again, I'll hit a cracking score, which is all fine, but eh, it doesn't really bother me. I don't play competitively. I don't play in societies. I just do a call. Oh, tell you what, he should have turned that around. There was a little hole in that. He should have turned that around and got the flyby to go through. 
through the hole. That would have been cool. What was I saying? Oh yeah, um, scoring. Ugh, like I've said before, I don't really, you know what I mean? But silly little mistakes like that still annoy me when I do them. Okay, I'm just gonna aim right close to this. Oh, that should be okay. Yeah, that flyby, if you had turned that, that one there, turned it round left a bit, so it rotated it, the flyby would have run right through the hole. That would have been cool. Okay, wow. Still pretty far to go. Okay, so that's playing about 232, I reckon. Oh, look at that wind as well, wow. This could be tough. Hope I down off it a little bit more than I should have. Oh, come on, bounce, bounce, bounce. Yes, that's not too bad, it's on the green anyway. That's a tough old par four, that one. Mind you, I didn't check if I could get through any of them gaps, through the, the ruins. Should have done. Okay, 17 feet. It's going to turn right to left. Boom, nice part. Wow, this is some elevation, this one. Real high up here. Looks like we're hitting over like a sort of little bay. These are tough. These are really hard to judge when you've got a really high elevation. It's really hard to. I bet that bunker's right in the driver's distance. Okay, hole 13, 442 yards, par 4. Oh, yes, that driver is right at that bunker. I'm going to go with 3 wood here, guy. I'm going to play safe. I'm going to aim over towards this big bunker here. Oh, look how far that's pulling round. Going to be okay. Oh, that's not bad. Kick, kick. Yeah. Yep. Driver would have been right in that bunker, I reckon. Okay, we're on an upslope here. Yeah. 149. About 147. this way over to the right. Oh, what a big draw with that wind. Oh, and it's short. Oh, we're on the upslope, aren't we? Yeah. Hmm, okay. 11 yards. Oh, let's hit the slope. Oh, dear. Try to take it a little bit more off that. It's probably about a 90% swing. This looks pretty straight. 17 feet, 5 inches up. Oh, that's too hard. Oh, wow. Head rush. <laughs> Look how far that went. Oh, my goodness. What, the, what am I doing? Oh, dear. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Ah, oh, wow. Right. Right. Let's reload this. Let's go. Oh, I've done it again. Back and forth. Back and forth. Right. Don't make the same mistake here. Come on. 20 feet. Six inches up. That's <laughs> how hard I should have hit it. Where's that going? Oh man, this this hole's killing me. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. Look at that triple bogey. My goodness. Like I said earlier though guys, it's yeah, neither here nor there. If it's competition of tournament players, different matter of society, but 
the show and the course is off. It does it does annoy you now and again, but yeah. About 14, 582 yards, par 5. It just means I'll have to get some more birdies. But that, I found that quite amusing. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I saw a putt like that. It was quite funny. Oh, but kept his entertained. Knowing that we can all screw up now and again. Okay, quite a big drive, 306 yards. Leaves us 286 to the pin. Oh, I'm going to go down to the five wood. I'm going to play short. Oh, oh. Slice that again. Okay, what's this going to leave us? 51, 52 feet. Let's just take some off of that. Push it again, look. The right, something I don't usually do. Okay, that's a birdie. That's one off the, the three from the last hole. <laughs> Okay, hole 15, 443 yards, par 4. Again, if we can reach this other side here with the driver, that's a pretty small area. Unless I can reach that bit right there, where it sort of widens. Don't know, let's have a look. Oh yeah, I think you can. Oh, if I pull, if I push, pull this to the left, I could be in a lot of trouble. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, it's going to the right though. Oh, slow down ball. Slow, slow, slow. Stop, stop, stop. In the light rough. That's not bad. That'll do. Bit of a slope though. Okay, 138. It's playing about 142. Oh, I don't think I moved that enough. That wind and that slope. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. We're there for a birdie, for a chance. Okay, 15 feet, four inches down. I'm going to turn right to the left here. Turn into the hole and we get a birdie. That's two off the triple bogey. <laughs> One more. Oh, I forgot the Bye bye. That's oh, okay. It's on a little par three. 119. 189.9. That's playing about 183. God, that wind's pretty strong though. 13 mile an hour. Oh, that's a nice strike. Come on, wind. Oh. Oh, so close. Okay, it looks like we're off. Got another little downhiller here. Two inches down. That's turning away. Yep, and you. Come on. Okay, that's a par. Just a par. Okay, yeah, not bad though, six under. A hole 17, 391 yards, par four. And to be honest, when you play a really nice course, and yeah, you make silly mistakes now and again, you just, that doesn't matter because you really, you're really enjoying the course. I'm just enjoying this round, it's a beautiful course. Hole 17, 391 yards, par four. Nice big bunker right in front of the green now. Okay, it's a big drop. I hope I'm not cutting too much off. Oh, come on. Get on the fairway. Oh, just, just got that. Okay, 108, playing about 111. I do like this though. The way he's got this. Big face that. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to say 111 with that wind. It's playing about 120 odd. Oh, the wind's keeping it up there. This might be short. Oh no, it's not too bad. Oh, it's hit a slope though. Stay, Bob, stay. It'll give us a pop for a birdie. Okay, 16 feet, 4 inches up. That just didn't turn at all. It stayed straight all the way. Another part. Okay, hole 18. 472 yards, par 4. Yeah, this is a really nice course, so quite enjoying this. Got a nice big bunker stat. And I do that lighthouse has done a cracking job on that the way it comes out. Oh ho 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 that bunker right in the landing area. Um right, I'm gonna have to go with the three words here. Which is going to leave us a pretty long second shot. I mean, I could have tried forcing it down that little sort of side there with the driver, but mm, the way I've been hitting today. <laughs> okay, 207 is playing about 209. That should be okay with that wind, I think. Good strike. Wind should pull it round towards the hole. I need you to bite. Bite, bite, bite. That's not bad. That's not bad. That leaves a shortish putt for a birdie. Oh, it looks, looks, this looks like it's going two different ways. I hate these putts. Look at this. Look. Inches down. Oh, just. So there you go, guys. This is the low course at St. Beats by Hoot Bleat. Minus seven, that's not bad with that triple bogey. So it's certainly worth a five out of five from me. And give it a play, guys. Definitely worth a play. Don't forget, if you like the content, hit the like button, and I will catch it again next time.